This is the Leica R Summicron 35mm from 1970. And this bad boy right here is the Xenon 35mm full frame prime cine lens. Now the Leica Summicron does have a pretty decent impressive focus throw. I'd say it's around 270 degrees. But one thing to take note of is this is called non-constant volume. Notice the lens travel, how far that front lens barrel extends when pulling focus on the Leica R. This is going to be a bit of a problem when using clamp-on matte boxes, causing stress on your lens. Meanwhile, our Xenon has a beautiful, huge 300-degree focus throw with professional witness marks on both sides, and notice it definitely has constant volume. There is zero lens travel happening here as well as a beautiful declicked aperture of T2.1, and on with the test. So in this test, I want us to pay attention to certain things. We are looking for image shift, focus breathing, bokeh shape, how it looks in the center of the frame versus the corners of the frame, all of those things, as well as skin tones, contrast, and here we go. Notice that huge image shift right out the bat, a little bit of breathing there to that back bookshelf, and now when we come back, and there's image shift again. Now this is ripped wide open at f2, and for the most part, the bokeh looks pretty nice. I will say there is a little bit of potato happening there in the upper right corner of the frame. Pretty heavy focus breathing, I wanna point that out. Um, and again, this is ripped wide open at f2. Very sharp though. Okay, now we jumped. There's a huge image shift there when I was trying to pull focus, and now we're doing, and obviously we're stopping down. As soon as you stop down, at f2.8, we start getting these uh, hexagonal bokeh. This is the most uncinematic quality of photo lenses, in my opinion, um, and that's because the Leica R only has six iris blades, okay? So bokeh shape is going to get destroyed as soon as you start stopping down. And now back, uh, we get to see the focus breathing once again and the image shift. Okay, now on to the Xenon. This is also ripped wide open at T2.1. And again, here you will be watching for image shift, but spoiler alert, there is none. Now, the Xenon, you'll notice we have a little bit of cat eyes when we're ripped wide open, meaning the bokeh has a little bit of oval shape there on the corners. And now here's the iris pole, and it's maintaining beautiful round creamy bokeh because it has 14 blades in the iris versus the Leica R6, okay? And now you'll see zero breathing when we go back to that back bookshelf. And you didn't even feel it move. You didn't even feel the lens move. I know that's not a long distance to go, but you can simply rewind and watch the Leica R again. Now here is the flare test. And the Leica R, again, this one is the 1970 version one. So this one has a lot more ghosting, a lot more flaring. It behaves a lot differently than the version two. That is why the version two is more sought after. Um, it's a little bit lighter of a lens, but the version two also um, does not suffer from as bad ghosting. Uh, however, you know, I would, love someone to do a comparison of ghosting and reflections of a Leica R version one versus version two. Now here you'll see the Xenon 35. It's pretty hard to get the Xenon 35 to flare up. However, I did, as I showed in my review of the Xenon lenses, the 75 mil and the 25 mil are a lot easier to get to flare and they have a little bit more unique characteristics. Whereas this Xenon 35 kind of behaves like my Zeiss Milvises did and, and kind of doesn't flare at all. <laughs> Now here's the close focusing test. This is, uh, you'll get to see heavy breathing happening again here. Um, we get to go back to see the skin tones um, and we're coming back to the close focus of 0.3 meters that that Summicron has. Fairly sharp for being from 1970, but notice how soft it is on the edges there. Now here's the Xenon. It does have some focus breathing. It does, doesn't it? But the skin tones are so, I, they're so close to each other and close focus with the Xenon. A little bit sharper on the Xenon. Um, still some breathing, but not as heavy. Certainly no image shift like what we saw in the Leica R. Now here we're just going for an overall sharpness test. This is the Xenon and ripped wide open at T2.1. Still pretty soft around those corners. Now the Leica R. You notice that little jump in contrast. The Leica R almost has a little kind of veil over it very uh, kind of desaturated look. Um, 
and this was after it was CLA'd. Now here is the biggest, my biggest gripe about the Leica R's, this insane ghosting and reflection. Notice how that little, that little puck light, the little panel light, you can see it no matter where I point the lens, right? So that is one of the biggest downsides of these vintage Leica R's. I am not a fan of ghosting and inner reflections. That is one of the reasons why I invested in the tilt adapter for my Bright Tangerine Misfit matte box because I tend to use a lot of filters in the matte box. And this is this is something that happens when you usually like stack like two or three filters deep in the matte box. Now here's the Xenon. If you didn't know what you were looking at, now the image is super clean, zero ghosting, zero inner reflections, okay? And just a heads up, FYI, this is clean naked lenses here. There were no filters being used. So, you know, now the one thing I'll point out about the Xenon, those cat eyes in the corners, that's a little bit of a bummer to me. Um, but, you know, I will take cat eyes in the corners when I'm ripped wide open over all the image shift and the ghosting and inner reflections of the Leica R's any day of the week. I know this was a short one, folks, but I want to get this out for you guys. I am just not a fan. I am a believer that the Leica R trend train hipster shit is a, a little bit overrated, me thinks. I want to give a shout out to all my Dog Times Patreon members, especially the members of the producers tier, Skinner, David, and Fred. And I give a shout out to our pro tip member, Visit VR. As always, thanks for watching. It's got crazy right